This problem can be solved using the binary search technique, but it is not that straightforward. And that is what makes this problem a interview essential. So how do you work your way towards it? Let's find it out. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I will explain the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases. After that, we are gonna visually see what does the problem even mean? And then we are gonna figure out how can you apply the binary search approach to this problem. After that, as usual, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can understand and visualize how all of this is actually working in action. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's make sure that we are understanding all of the available components in the problem. So over here, you are given some packages on a conveyor belt and you have to ship all of them in a given number of days. So that is your input. You are given all of these packages and then you are given certain number of days. Now, the constraint of the problem is that all of these packages are coming in a sequential manner. It means that if you're looking at this particular test case, then first you will take package three, then two, then two, and then a four. You cannot do that. Okay, first I will take package three, then I will take package one. No, that is not possible. All of these will come in a sequential manner. And now given this condition, you have to tell me what is the minimum capacity of a ship required such that you are able to ship all of these packages in the given number of days. I know that this is a lot of information to process and to understand the problem even better, what I do is, and I would recommend you also do is try to visualize the problem, try drawing some diagrams and things will get clear to you. So what I will try to do is I will take up this second test case and try to look at it visually. So what do I have over here? Over here, I have this test case, right? And to look at it visually, I have this conveyor belt with me and all of these packages are placed. So these packages will come one by one, right? It is not possible that you take a package three and then you take package one, no. So given this condition, you also have a boat available or a ship. Now this boat has some capacity. What you will do is you will start to load all of these packages one by one, and then you have to ship them. Now for a moment, think that this boat has infinite capacity. Let us say the capacity of the boat is 1000. Now, what will happen? If you will start to load these packages, all of these packages will get loaded and they will go in just one day itself, right? So if your capacity is very large, that means a lot of capacity or infinite capacity, then you will only need one day to transport all of your packages, right? But in the problem statement, it says that we have three days available. So we want to minimize this capacity. We want to minimize it as much as possible such that we are able to ship all of these packages within the three days. So over here, what piece of information do you get? You get the piece of information that if you have infinite capacity, you only need one day to transport all of your packages, right? So I can safely say that if my capacity is very large, then I only need one day to transport all of your packages, correct? It is very clear that we want a minimum capacity as much as possible. But how minimum can you go? Can you take the capacity of one? No, because when the capacity is just one kg, you cannot even load this three kg block. It will not be possible. The ship will sink, correct? You will only be able to load just this one kg block. So you cannot take a boat that has a capacity of one kg. So what is the minimum capacity theoretically that you can take? Theoretically, that value will be the maximum available package that you have. So in this array, the maximum available value is four. So for a moment, let us say the capacity of the boat that I'm taking is four kg, right? Now let us try to load all of our packages. What will happen? When I try to load the first package, I load it three kg. And now I cannot load the next package because I only have one kg available, right? So we are done for the day and this boat will go away, right? We took a total of one day. Now in the next day, what will happen? You will start loading your boat again. So you load two kg and then you load two kg again. This time you were able to load two packages 
because the capacity of your boat is 4 kg and you loaded two packages of 2 kg each. Now, once again, you cannot load any more blocks. So this boat will now go away. The next day comes and once again, you will try to load your boat. You load the 4 kg package. You cannot load any more packages. So this boat will now go away. In turn, you took one more day. The next day comes, you will load your 1 kg block. And now notice, you are remaining with a capacity of 3 kg and this block is 4 kg. So you cannot load it. So you will have to wait one more day. For this day, the boat is gone and the day finishes. So you took one more day. For the last day now, the boat comes again and you load the 4 kg package and the boat goes away. So you took one more day. So how many days did you take in total? You took a total of five days, right? So what am I seeing over here? I see that if my capacity was four, how many days did I take? I took a total of five days. So one thing is very, very clear. If I will start to increase my capacity, the number of days to transport this will go down, right? And it feels natural also because higher the capacity, less number of days are required. So if you notice with a capacity of four, I took a total of five days, but I only have three days available. So what will I have to do? I will certainly have to increase my capacity, correct? So when it comes to a brute force solution, what will you do? You will now try to increase your capacity by one. When the capacity increases, now the capacity of my boat is five, correct? Let us now try to load the blocks. So in the first day, I will load three kg and I can load two kg also. So this is now complete and this boat will go away. I took one day up till now. In the next day, I will load the 2 kg block and now I cannot load the 4 kg block because then the weight will be 6 kg. So this day is also done. In the next day, I load the 4 kg block and then I still have space. So I load the 1 kg block as well. And now my boat is full. So this boat will now go away. I took one additional day. And on the last day, I just have one block remaining. So I load it on the boat and it goes away. So I take one more day. So what just happened? When I increased the capacity to 5 kg, how many days did I take? I took a total of four days, right? So we find out that as we are increasing the capacity, the number of days required are reducing, correct? And what happens is that if I change the capacity to six now, then I will be able to transport all of this in just three days. How? The capacity changes to six. So for the first day, I load block three and block two. So now this goes away. In the second day, I will load block two and then a block four. Now the capacity is six. This ship will go away. So I took one more day. And in the last day, I will take up both of these blocks and load it. The capacity of boat is six. The weight is five. So I take one more day. So what do we notice over here? We see that if the capacity of boat is six, I can ship all of these packages in just three days. And that is the requirement. I have to ship it within three days. So this is the brute force solution to the problem. You start off with the minimum capacity possible, and then you go step by step all the way towards the maximum capacity that you can have. And along this line, as you move one step at a time, you will be able to see how many days do you need. The number of days will keep on reducing. And as you see the number of days match, that's it. That is your answer. So this is how the problem is actually working. Now, if you go back to your test cases, what did we just do? We just looked at a second test case, right? So in the second test case, what is the minimum capacity of the ship required? That is the desired answer. So for the second test case, six is your answer. And that is all you have to return. How this was possible? This was possible by three days. You sent three, two, then two, four, and then one, four. And you notice that these are all sequential. You don't have to return this, but you just have to tell me that a minimum capacity of six is required. So similarly, for the first test case and the third test case, the answers will be 15 and then a three. Because when the minimum capacity is 15, you will be able to ship all of these containers in just five days. And those five days will look something like this. For the first day, you are shipping one, two, three, four, five. So all of them are sequential, then six and seven, then a eight, then a nine, and then a 10. So all the packages are coming in a sequential way and you are never exceeding your weight limit, that is 15. 
and similarly try to work out the last test case also. The minimum capacity possible will be three days and you have to ship it in four days, right? So you send one, then a two, then three and then one and one again. So that is how the problem statement looks like. And I believe that the brute force solution is also now clear to you. If you feel that now you want to take a stab at the problem again, feel free to try it out. I have given you a very good hint. If you're still not sure, let us dive into the solution and see how you can apply the binary search technique. To understand how we can apply the binary search technique, let me make a slight change to the second test case. I have the same number of packages, but instead of three days, this time I want to ship all of the packages in just two days. What were the two values that you had? You had a minimum capacity required. That means the minimum capacity of the ship. You cannot have a capacity of one, right? Because then you cannot load all of these blocks. So the minimum capacity of the ship required will be actually the maximum of all of these weights. So for this particular test case, the minimum capacity required of the ship will be 4 kg, right? And then what about the maximum capacity possible? If you notice, I said that you can have a maximum capacity of infinite or 10,000 or 100,000 kg, right? But you do not need that much. If you are able to fit all of these packages on the boat in just one day, then you will be able to ship them all together, right? So the maximum capacity possible turns out to be in fact just the sum of all of this cargo. So over here, the maximum possible capacity will be 16. That is nothing but sum of all the weights available. So now you have two pieces of information available. The minimum capacity of the boat will be 4 and then the maximum capacity of the boat will be 16. Correct? Your answer will lie somewhere in between. Why? That is because if your capacity is 4, you know how many days we are taking, right? We took a total of 6 days. And if my capacity is 16, how many days did we take? We only took one day, right? And we want to complete this task in just two days. So somewhere in between, I will have a value where the number of days required will be just two. So what were you doing as a part of brute force approach? You took all the days one by one. First, you were taking only four capacity and then found out the days. Then you took a capacity of five and then found out the days, then six, and then you found out the days, right? So instead, you can apply the binary search technique. You have a low pointer and then you have a high pointer. So what do you do? Try to find out the mid value. The mid value over here will be 10. So instead of going sequentially, simply just try to find out how many days will you take when the capacity of the boat is 10. You're going to get some value over here, right? And based upon this value, just adjust either your left pointer or your right pointer. For any middle value, you are going to find out that, okay, I will need these many number of days. If you still want to reduce your number of days, keep on increasing your capacity. So move your low pointer. And that is how you will continue to iterate. So based upon this idea, let us quickly do a dry run of the code and see how this works in action. On the left side of your screen, you will have the complete code to implement this solution. And on the right, once again, I have my sample array that is passed in as an input parameter to the function ship within days. And I also pass in the number of days required. So to initialize things, what is the first thing that we do? First of all, we will find out what are the minimum capacity and the maximum capacities possible. To find it, you will iterate through your weights array and find out the maximum weight amongst all the cargo. This will be your minimum capacity of the boat. So when you iterate through this array, the minimum capacity turns out to be the maximum value. So minimum value turns out to be four, correct? And similarly, the maximum capacity will simply be the addition of all the weights. So you add them, and then you will get 16 as your maximum capacity. So now I have got two particular pointers, four and a 16. And I need to apply binary search between four and all the way up to 16. So what do I do next? I simply apply the binary search technique while minimum capacity is less than the maximum capacity. And I try to find out the mid capacity. So currently the mid capacity will turn out to be 10. Now, 
we will try to find out okay how many days do we need when the capacity is 10 and to find out those days you apply a simple logic just try to load up your ship and then count how many days are you actually needing so you find out that okay with a capacity of 10 i need let's say only two days correct but i have three days available so what do you need to do you need to turn down your capacity a little bit so initially the low pointer was at 4 and the high pointer was at 16 correct and i found a mid value 10. i want to decrease my capacity a little bit that means i will find my answer somewhere over here so i will update the high pointer to 10 and that is all i will do in my last condition based upon the number of days that i derived you will increment either the min cap or the max cap. This loop will now run again and once again you will try to find out okay what is the mid capacity and once again you will try to find out how many days are required. So this loop will continue on and eventually you will find out that okay this is the minimum capacity of the ship required to ship all of the packages. So you notice how we were able to apply the binary search technique. The time complexity of this solution turns out to be order of n log n because you need the log n time complexity to run your binary search technique and you will need order of n time complexity to iterate through all of the weights and determine how many days you are actually needing. And the space complexity of this solution is order of 1 because you are not taking up any extra space to arrive at your solution. I hope the problem statement and the solution are now perfectly clear to you. I just want to say that this problem is a perfect example and a gateway when you are solving easy problems and then you go on to the intermediate level. Because think about it, you are in an interview and you are asked about the binary search technique. Very well, you can give a very good explanation. And after that, the interviewer asks you with this particular question. Then it is up to you that you can identify that yes, this problem can be actually solved using the binary search technique. Because if you attack this problem, it is a little tricky to identify that yes, I will be applying the binary search technique. You can come up with two pointers and that is also a very good start. So that is what makes this problem very very important. While going throughout the video, did you face any problems? Or have you seen any other such problems which are hiding the binary search technique in the insight? Just tell me everything in the comment section below and it will become a very good collection whenever you revisit this problem again in the future. Also come up with all your doubts, I will be happy to answer all of them. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This keeps me motivated and I can make more such videos. Also, a huge shout out to all the members who support my channel. You guys really keep me going. And as a member, you do get priority reply to your comments as well. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Until then, see ya.